The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. <laughs> Even my koala has a tube. <laughs> Quite funny. What risk there? Like I said, so the line can get an infection. The more time you use the line, the more risk there is of sepsis. And also, TPN damages your liver really severely. So, yeah. Thank you, lovely. I appreciate that really damages the liver like that's what so your alk levels are monitored yeah so the central line and tpn is last resort but you're yeah you can get clots but i have a central line anyway but tpn is the liver mainly so i do have obviously a central line anyway so i know i have one but um so that that wouldn't be the kind of issue it's actually the point of the tpn damage in the liver my alk levels are already deranged since being on it as a kid and yeah so it's the alk that they look at a lot and the alk levels of mine are already so deranged they can't actually ever put me back on it by the looks of it and this is like how long down the line like 18 years later so it's crazy i don't know how my liver hasn't regenerated itself and good enough but yeah but it doesn't seem like it will now which is shit and i'm actually uncontrolled well first of all i'm now a full-time wheelchair user so even though it's not good that i have to use a wheelchair full-time because i'm paralyzed um <laughs> that's kind of managed a lot of my symptoms obviously because i use a banana board to transfer that's the only way i can transfer apart from a hoist no, I'm not allowed to at all, lovely. It wouldn't be a last, last resort. I'm not allowed to at all. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And apart from that, um, I'm on Ivabradine and Venlafaxin, which can be used off license for POTS. So yeah, so Ivabradine and Venlafaxine together as medication control. For the pot symptoms. Do I have any allergies? I do, lovely, yes. They suspect so, but they can't obviously t show that for sure. So they think it's probably caused by my EDS, yes, but they can't obviously, l they link, so that makes sense, but obviously they can't actually tell you that it is. There's such a variety of pot of um, symptoms. Main one that's the categor the categorical symptom for diagnosis is a heart rate that is a heart rate of in increase upon post postural. So by standing, essentially, from sitting to standing is a increase of 30 beats per minute or more increase that's the diagnosis but yeah that's the diagnostic criteria essentially but yeah so upon postural so which means movement essentially from like sitting to standing lying to sitting that sort of thing so yeah because I used to be able to stand, I used to be able to walk, you know, like, yeah. I can't anymore, no, but I used to be able to. But people with POTS can stand, yeah. I can't because I'm paralysed, but I used to be able to. I, I haven't been paralysed that long. But no, I can't stand at all anymore. It's okay, that is what it is, I've had to accept it, lovely.
getting late, not really. It's literally like 10 to 10 to 11 at night. That's not that late. Hi Emma Jane. Am I in hospital? No. Bless you. Well, thank you, lovely. I appreciate that. Hey Eloise, love, how are you? A lot of my medication disperses. It doesn't, lovely. It's not coming straight back out, no. Moody is comfortable, yeah. I'm 25, it doesn't feel young, but yeah, it just is what it is. I'm 25, lovely. It's been as okay as it can be, Nicole, lovely, thank you. Half your age, bless you, lovely. Body feels a lot, my body feels a hell of a lot older, trust me, I get that, honestly. My body feels like it's about 900, literally. Well, maybe 100. We won't push it to 900, but 100, like... No, I live by myself. I can't live with my parents, unfortunately, due to my disability. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've never heard that before, but I quite like that best, to be fair. I feel like I've got the posture of a quaver. <laughs> I am on my own, unfortunately, but no, my parents do help me. I live by myself, but no, I do have help. I have carers during the day, and my parents help too. Thank you, Nicole, darling. And they are looking into CHC funding, which is continuing healthcare funding, which is NHS funding for more more care essentially but yeah bless you yeah thank you thank you lovely i appreciate that yeah my carers are absolutely brilliant honestly i well, i get on so well with my carers they are absolutely amazing ladies honestly so I have carers throughout the day and then I should be getting them at night time too but it just depends at the moment how the CHC panel goes. Hey Nicole darling, thank you sweet. With a toothpaste, I just use a charcoal whitening toothpaste. But I have to use a bamboo toothbrush because I don't like, so sensory wise, I am autistic, I have ASD, so I don't like hard bristles, so I have to use a bamboo toothbrush because they have extra soft bristles. Actually not Tracy, whatever. No, because they only send the same carers to me all the time. Do I have to do my medication myself? That's what I'm doing now, lovely. So my medication gets potted out in the weekly pot. That Obviously, you buy ones like this. And then my mum pots them out for me. So they're already weekly potted out. 
by my mum. And then I just administer them, but yeah. Thank you. I mean, I'm not, but thank you anyway. Yeah, see, I don't want my pharmacy to do it. Only because there's some of them that are like... It's difficult, love. I don't know if I've had a seizure and I'm by myself. But it has happened before, unfortunately. I've ended up in hospital, but... I've sometimes, yeah, some friends uh, nearby... Not really though, um, but yeah, they come. Some people come. Some of them can come in dossets by a pharmacy. Yeah, blister packs. That's what I mean. Um, but our pharmacy. So I have one medication or well, two medications that are once a day. But like, they do them at a time that I don't like taking them because I already take too many other meds. So basically, I put them at different times. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I don't have a blister pack from the pharmacy. And also, they don't like doing it in my town. They don't like doing it in my town for people that are under a certain age, shall we say. And mine are also... Um, my prescriptions are picked up weekly. So they don't like doing them for people that are on weekly prescriptions either. They like doing the month's worth in one go. And mine has to be picked up every week, so yeah, it's annoying. But also, I, I just, I've never requested blister packs, because yeah, literally. Yeah, I just don't want them. Mum doesn't mind doing my, my meds for me, so it's fine. Yeah, it is, especially for younger people. I'm not going to sit here and complain. I have nothing to complain about. Yeah, I go through a shit time in life, but you get what I mean? Like, literally. I have a shit time in life sometimes, but doesn't everyone at times. And to be honest, like, if I'm going to sit here and moan, what's the point of being on live? I can sit and moan by myself. I just want to talk to people, enjoy other people's company, and make the most out of what I can do, not what I can't. If I can sit here and chat to lovely people like you guys, I'll do that. Because that's nice. My throat's sore. My, vo my voice gets croaky, unfortunately. It just does. But yeah. I have a condition called gastroparesis, which means my stomach is paralysed. Lovely. Some people that have it have partial paralysis of the stomach and can eat some people can't eat some people have complete paralysis of the stomach i used to have partial paralysis of my stomach mine is now complete paralysis of the stomach so i'm fed through this tube into my intestines and i get my meds through there too and this tube drains my stomach so i do still drink orally but you'll see like it's obviously draining out so yeah and now I need to put my feed back on anyway. So I've, I drink pretty much throughout the day anyway. But you will just notice it does drain out pretty continuously. And my stomach does drain continuously. Because obviously there's always stomach acid and stuff going around. So it doesn't always drain all at once. It will drain continuously all 24-7. So yeah. Did I just have dinner through the tube? What do you mean? My Sorry, didn't mean to drop you guys. No. So my feed is meant to run 22 hours. That is my feed. Hang on, that is my feed. It's hard to point in the wrong direction. And it's run through a pump. So it's run very slowly through a pump, lovely. Why does it drain till it's in a bag? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> So it's run 22 hours through the pump straight into my tube. 
taste it and chew it in food. No. It's so to be honest, I used to be able to eat little bits of food. Uh, I would be sick anyway, because that's just what happens with my condition. But when you're sick so much with food, to be quite honest, I've um been put off of it, quite honestly. <laughs> I miss having the choice to be able to do it and to be able to eat, but actually when you've been sick so much on things that you've once liked or once had and liked the taste of, you don't really want to taste it again once it's come up the second or third time. Like, no, but you off a bit, not gonna lie. <laughs> It's gastroparesis, so that means stomach paralysis. Do you mean my leg paralysis or my stomach paralysis? My leg paralysis was through my epilepsy and my stomach paralysis I was born with, but it was incomplete paralysis through my stomach before, so it was partial and now it is complete. So my stomach doesn't digest and doesn't function. And that's why I can drink, but you see it draining out, literally. My tapes are from Tuby Cheeks, lovely. I can hear the bubbles. I don't have a stoma bag, no. Was I born with it? The gastroparesis, yes. So the stomach paralysis, yes. But it was partial. And the leg paralysis, no. So I've only been paralysed in my legs for two years and three months. And though I actually didn't know the exact amount of time, it's for the flavour, yeah. And it's also for the norm normality. You know, you'd sit and talk to a friend and you'd have a drink in your hand and you'd just be drinking while you're talking. It's still that normal feeling. I'm still a human being. I still want normal, normal things in my life. I still want normal feelings. I still want normal actions in my life. Do you get what I mean? Like, I'm human. I still crave some sort of normality in a very unnormal life. I do colour in when I can. Can we have a mod check, please, guys? If not, Lucy, do you want me to put in group chat, babe? Do you need to go? Yeah. How do I stay hydrated? So through my faith it is unfortunately now yes so it's only been two years and three months but yeah that's okay ruby honestly thank you for joining my team lovely ruby honestly last night i was on public so there was a lot more people in here tonight is a lot nicer lucy faith is in here darling it's through my epilepsy unfortunately that I've become paralysed in my legs. We're not going to be talking about that, though, unfortunately. Hey, Coco, darling. Lucy, Faith and Coco are here, babe. It was mad, Bonbon, you're right. Um, so, if, yeah, so if my stomach drains, how do I stay hydrated? So, first of all, what goes into my NJ, this one, that goes straight into my intestines absorbs into my intestines so that doesn't drain out and also I get IV fluids that I now need to reconnect to no it's okay lovely I just don't like talking to talking too much about my paralysis and about how it happened because actually it's quite scary and it's still quite new to me I do lovely yeah I do have bowel dysmotility so it bypasses the stomach yeah <laughs> I'm heading into intestinal failure, to be honest, but yeah, that's okay.
I understand that. I don't normally like lives with lots of people in comments either, so this is actually a lot more than we're used to, but in general, our lives are a lot nicer. How did that, the epilepsy cause double leg paralysis? It's not called double leg paralysis, it's called paraplegia, but it's because it's actually... The gastric bypass isn't an option, love. Um, sorry, I'm no, I can't afford to lose any more weight, lovely, unfortunately. No. Yeah, literally. Sometimes 30. How did the epilepsy cause... Sorry, I'm getting caught up in so many questions. I did the epilepsy. So my epilepsy has caused brain damage, unfortunately, slight brain damage in part of my brain, of course. So that is why it has now caused me to become paralyzed because the brain damage has essentially severed my legs from my brain. So severed, like obviously my legs now are not connected to my brain, essentially. It's severed like the sensation cords and the movement cords from them. So everything I do, I have to lift my legs up with my arms. I have to scooch my bum across onto a banana board and transfer into a wheelchair. I can show you how I do that in a minute. How am I doing? I'm okay, lovely, thank you. Can I use crutches? No, because my legs can't weight bear. If I had KAFOs, so knee, ankle, or foot orthotics, and they locked, I would be able potentially to weight bear on my legs because they would lock, so they would hold me up. But no, I can't use crutches. I can't stand at all, lovely. Not anymore. Do I get help with all of this? Yes, lovely. So I'm under wheelchair services, I'm under an OT, and I'm under a physical health team. What was that? What was what? I can't use crutches, lovely. I'd love to use them. I don't hate them, I'd love to. Yeah, literally in my hand. That's my drainage bag. So I'm about to go and empty that, so I'm just gonna get into my wheelchair to empty it. That's my drainage bag. It's actually a catheter bag. I have proper drainage bags that I'm going to go connect to it in a minute, but yeah. So it's a caster bag that I'm going to go put a proper drainage bag on. So I have proper drainage bags. Sometimes I just use catheter bags because it's easier connection, but yeah. So literally I'm... Oh, thank you, Nicole. Lovely. And then this is my catheter. So I've actually got a catheter anyway, but yeah. How many animals? I don't have animals, no. Love a dislocation from trying to go for a wee. Oh, bless you, darling. Yeah, literally. Well, well, I got a caster. I don't need to go for a wee, but yeah. I use the toilet anymore then? No. I, I haven't been able to use the, the toilet from before I was paralysed. Did you do something? Sorry, lovely. I've literally had to demod all of our new mods just because we don't need any new mods and there's been a lot of other stuff going on darling that we can't afford to have any new mods right now it wasn't anything you did personally darling go sit on a cold toilet seat i wouldn't feel the cold toilet seat but yeah no i've so i've had a catheter since before i was paralyzed my catheter oh jesus is through here it goes into this in here it's an incision that goes through my abdomen, essentially through my lower abdomen, of course, straight into my bladder, super pubic. So it's surgical. And that is because I've got bladder failure. My bladder failure has been ever since I was 17, but they diagnosed it when I was 19, roughly. But I've had the super pubic since I was 18 because they determined it was a long-term need of catheter. Oh, geez, just hit the brake. <laughs> Thank you. So this is me like, getting in my wheelchair. Obviously, I've got so. Obviously, I've got so. This is what I used to slide into my wheelchair. I've obviously just lifted myself across that and pull it out from under. 
So I've got a lot of upper body strength, but I did take eight months of physio to be able to do it. So yeah, <laughs> took eight months of physio. Do we have to be homeschooled? I was at school for some of it and a long... Of course, no, it wasn't the paralysis that caused the catheter. So I've had the catheter before I was paralysed, love. I came, became paralysed when I was 23. And I was, yeah, I was 17 when I first had a catheter. I'm just going to pause and I'll be back in a minute, guys, okay? The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.